In this video, I'll guide you how to bypass C-Scaler Client Connector. Although, I don't have any access to C-Scaler because it needs to be provided by your organization or company or school. So, assumingly, we have an access in that. Before we proceed, let's understand Zscaler's role. So, Zscaler Client Connector ensures your internet traffic is routed securely through your organization's network. Bypassing it might compromise security or violate company policies, so proceed responsibly. Um, Disconnect from your current Wi-Fi or network tied to Zscaler policies and then connect to a personal mobile hotspot or an unmonitored public network. This temporarily bypasses Zscaler but could reduce security. And second is disable Zscaler temporarily. Open the Zscaler client connector on your device and then check if there's a post protection or logout option. Well, some organizations allow temporary bypasses for troubleshooting. And then third, modify DNS settings, assuming we have for permission. So open your network settings and locate the DNS settings. Replace the DNS server with a public DNS like 8.8.8.8. .8 it's a Google DNS. Then this might bypass the scalar filtering, but only if your admin hasn't locked down network settings. And then fit is the end C scalar client process, like open the task manager or activity monitor on mac os if you're using then locate this this killer client connector process and then right click and select end task or force quit to stop the application and then lastly if bypassing is necessary for legitimate reasons contact your it administrator and request a policy adjustment or temporary exception for specific needs and that's it that's a quick overview to bypass this is killer client connector if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.